Hello, comrades! It's a me, a friendly porcupine! Ah, delicious spruce tea! What do we got today? Well, we got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows. You know, the crazy Michael Bay version with the explosions and everything. Now, one thing you might notice about this set is it's quite big for a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set. Because just like Mr. Bean, if it was microscopic, you wouldn't be able to see anything. Isn't that right, Mr. Bean? Um, well, firstly, it's quite big. Mm -hmm. Because if it was really small, you know, microscopic, then hardly anybody would be able to see it. Which would be a tremendous shame. Now, believe it or not, we have a special guest. Because, you know, holiday season, Santa Claus came to town, Michelangelo came to town. And where did Michelangelo decide to crash the party? Well, right at my house. So, yeah, Michelangelo's here. He knows more about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles than I do, so I'll let him take over for a little while. Let's find Michelangelo. He should be somewhere in the closet. Michelangelo, where did you go? I can't get out. Oh! Yo! Ah, oh, come on, man. I was Michelangelo. That doesn't make any sense. These are some lame-ass nunchucks! This is what I'm here for! Yeah! Oh! Dude! Oh, come on! Are you for real? Dude! I'm not even in this set! I, there's the photo of me right there, but, but I'm not even in it! There's only Raphael and Leonardo! Oh, come on! I thought I was the coolest Ninja Turtle! Oh, man! Bruh! You don't just do that to me, Mega Blocks! <laughs> Two hours later. Nah, I can't. Nah, I'm just messing with you. I still love this set because it still has my brothers in there. You see? Has Raphael, has Leonardo, and everything. And then also has this button that just doesn't work at all. Like, what's going on with the button? It's so just. Not radical, dude. Like, bruh. Well, anyways, this is the TMNT, the Michael Bay version. It comes with 691 pieces brought to you by Mega Blocks, because Mega Constructs is not so very awesome. They stopped doing TMNT. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this said retails for $6.99. <laughs> you wish. It actually retails for $69.99. Damn, man, I'm really bad with this stuff. I just don't get it. I thought I was a Ninja Turtle. And a mutated teenage one at that. Well, everyone, enough enough of all the information and talk. Let's actually get this thing open. Michelangelo-san. Michelangelo-san. Splinter. I was about to open this set up. Come on, that's so not radical and cool, dude. Don't bother on friendly porcupine. Get back and finish your pull-up. <sighs> your brothers are waiting. Bye. Well, a friendly porcupine, you go ahead and take care of it. Michelangelo, Damn, no. Comrades, here it is. The magnificent turtle hideout layer. Well, comrades, here's how this review is going to go. I'm going to show off each little element, each little section of this set. It's a big one, there's a lot of things involved. Let us begin with Donatello section. Alright, here is Donatello section. Here we have a chair that rotates and can seat the turtle nicely. And can also easily fall off. Ay, 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 mega blood. What are you doing? <laughs> ay, yeah, whatever. I'll just take that off so you can get a much better look at what the print looks like. So, yeah, a lot of geeky stuff for Donatello. And yeah, this piece right here, transparent blue with this type of print. So that way you can get that blue underline. Well, underside. It's a good color. Here's also what the computer print looks over there. They basically use like a Halo style door piece. Here's how a Ninja Turtle would operate Donatello's machine, computer. And yes, this is Donatello, and no, this Donatello does not come in this set. He actually comes from a custom figure that I made. This super cool video of all of the Ninja Turtles 
custom build with the most coolest accessories I decided to give. Uh, I mean, it's kind of a little loose. It does the job. Maybe they could have included like a little peg over there. Maybe they could have made the chair like a little bit like a knee bent kind of chair, so you can bend the knees. But yeah. Anyways, hasta luego, Nanatello. Let's move on to this super cool beatbox section. Yeah. So where you play all of the super awesome beats and other stuff. Yeah, these little puppies can actually rotate. They can rotate like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. I dropped the phone. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> all right. Here we are. So they can rotate like this. And like this for both of them, which is really, really awesome. And this is perfect for playing all of your trap beats, metal or some radical music. Right, Donatello? Wait, that's actually Michelangelo. Crap, I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> anyway, here's the little part where you actually play the boombox. You see right here? This little section, it's supposed to be like that. Uh, you spin those little two discs like, you know, DJs doing the house parties and other stuff. Yeah, this thing right here. Let's go ahead and place Michelangelo, since I think uh, Michelangelo is the most interested in this type of section. So bodacious! Here's a Ninja Turtle actually using this DJ machine. Right here is Michelangelo, but he does not come in the set. Like again, I said, custom, same with Donatello. But yeah, that's what the DJ machine looks like, and you can already see, yeah, Michelangelo looks really good. The height, dimensions, and everything was placed right. Except, doesn't the DJ usually stand behind the thing, you know? But there's not enough space to really place him there. So, yeah. It's not like they're gonna house a humongous party and invite everyone. Splinter would be upset, so... Yeah, I guess it kind of makes sense that the DJ, the one Ninja Turtle who's DJing, doesn't stand behind. Usually he does in like normal human being scenarios, but then again, these are Ninja Turtles. Do they follow what human beings do? No. Do human beings live in the shadows and hide from everyone in the sewers? No, I don't think so. As I said, Splinter would be very disappointed. Cowabunga! Huh? Were you seen? Of course not, Master Splinter. Practice harder. Oh. oh. Right. Ten flips now. Also, I forgot to mention this section right here, which provides uh, some things to hang up some accessories. It's also the same way on the other side, and it's also purple to indicate this is Donatello section. Moving on from the DJ section, as we move up this humongous structure, we get to the crane. The crane, which adds a lot of playability because it's a super cool swinging thing for any of your other Ninja Turtles to use, such as Donatello, right here. See the super cool thing? And the part I really like about Mega Blocks, they actually pre tie this piece for you so you don't have to go to the trouble of tying it. Like, good job, Mega Blocks. I love that. I love it. Because one of the most annoying parts when you try to build this set is tying this piece up. Anyways, let's go ahead and have him attach that. Excellent. Our Donatello figure is swinging nicely. Let's have his position kicked up like that. Boom. And now he's ready to slide in, slide in, swing in for the action. All right, let's pretend he's very upset at Leonardo because Leonardo decided to eat all of his pizza. What is Donatello going to do? Boom. Smack him like that. He got him, and he got him good. <laughs> yes, good job, Donatello. But that's basically the playability feature. For the swinging part. But we are not done with the playability features of the crane. Because something really cool you can do is have another Ninja Turtle run up like an actual ninja. Right here, on this thingy. Because this is still also a platform. You can place your ninja right there. And as that guy is shaking, Boom boom! How about the Shredder in him fighting a fight? Check that out! Look at that! They're actually fighting another stuff. That right there is a super cool feature. And if we swing things around, all the way around, there is also this thing. Which provides another gripper structure for another Ninja Turtle. This also provides another structure. Check this out. 
you're gonna have Raphael actually controlling how this thing swings. See that? That's what that little piece is for. Or it could just also be another place to position the Ninja Turtle. Anyway, Shredder, Michelangelo, Raphael, let's get out of here. Come on, Donatello. Now, we bring this to a much lower level. After you exit the DJ area, you come over here and there's a little cone that you have to be cautious about. After that, you move on to this section right here, which is, I think, probably the most coolest part of this entire set. This is the big sewer lid bucket shooter that's supposed to come with the batteries, which it did, but they did not work. So, yeah. I tried to make it work, but... Yeah, these were the three original batteries that were supposed to go in. This is the type of battery that you get if you're a battery geek. I tried to make it work with whatever batteries I had, trying to pull out the tin foil and other stuff, get it to work. Yeah, unfortunately, my efforts are in vain. It, it doesn't work, so yeah. I tried, but it is what it is. I guess we'll have to use the official and friendly porcupine sound effect machine, eh? You see those two pieces right there? Those were actually supposed to have lights every time you shoot this thing. If I take this off, boom, there are actual lights underneath those pieces. So yeah. <laughs> and on top of that, it wouldn't have just been lights. It also would have been sounds. So yeah, really adding a lot of playability features to this set. It's just such a bummer. The batteries were too old to start working. So yeah. It's a bummer. Anyways, what's not battery required is this super cool print, but that's besides the point, is the actual thing that actually fires this thing. Yeah. So, let me show you right here. Here's the ammunition you have. You have these sewer lids right here, and you can stack a bunch of them. Now, let's go ahead and play uh, Unfriendly Porcupine Versus. Yeah, just with the Ninja Turtle edition, because <laughs> this is actually a really, really fun set. All right. So we have Raphael. Who do we want to be shooting the thing? Ah, perfect. Here's another super cool thing. You see these two little grippers? You can actually get Shredder to be on them. This right here is how the action works. Shredder, are you prepared to get your revenge on Raphael? Well, here's how it goes. You position this and you just click these buttons right here. These two buttons press in and it fires. So let's go ahead, Raphael. Prepare to meet your doom. You missed. Huh? Why it's stuck? That's not supposed to happen. Oh, <laughs> you saw that here. Yeah. Okay, normally it doesn't get stuck. Oh, Raphael. Oh, you got hit. But you got to be careful. Don't use these type of pieces. By the way, these ones with the studs are not included. So only these ones are included. The ones without the studs. You pop them into here. Make sure that they're placed flat. And let's go striking one more time. Come on, Shredder, take down Raphael. Ha, he made it through the hole. Anyways, you get the point, let's just pretend uh, Raphael won, which he did. Here's a super cool thing you can do. Remember these pieces? You can actually rotate them to position Shredder in a much better position. Now, here's another super cool thing you can do. You can actually take this whole piece off. It's a little bit tight, but boom, there you go. You can actually take it off and swap it out with that super cool thing up there. But before we go into that feature, I want to show you this right here. So you see, what is this strange thing right here? Well, based on the way this set was built, there is actual sewer water coming out of this thing. This is how they decided to take the mold. It's just a nice piece of plastic paper, but it is a very, very high quality plastic paper and none of this cardboard crap, because if it was cardboard, it would have just bent like that and yeah, it would just suck. So, once you lift it up, I can show... Oh, crap, it's Okay. Yeah, you see that? That's the type of material we're dealing with. So you want to be careful when you move this set like this. I can show you much more greater detail. You can hear that sound right there. 
That's the type of material it is, and it's very nice. Think of like Valentine's cards, um, plastic kind of paper, those kind of things. But it's much more higher quality. Or if you remember from my Welly Wishes review with the flower pieces, they're basically like the same material. But the way that it is structured, it actually works very well, and it simulates like there's sewer water being through. And check this out. They actually created like a little arch for the sewer water to continue through. Very nice. And where does this bring up and wrap up to this piece? Well, this is the sewer water controller piece, aka the veil. Now, Leonardo, are you ready to control the sewer water? Okay, so of course, you get Leonardo to spin it around and it controls it. And you see this little piece? This piece simulates where the water is getting pumped into. Very good design, Mega Bloops. Very good design. Another super cool feature. Check this out. Of course, you can spin the tire, but if you want it to stop, you push it in, and now it's super hard to spin. So if you want to lock the lock or stop the leak, don't stop it. Eat it. It's delicious. It's good for you too. And speaking of stop the leak, Mega Blocks could have also included a big, big paper piece like this to actually have the water in there. I know, this is green, it looks more like grass, but let's just pretend it's water, besides, that's how dirty the sewer water is, so, <laughs> Here's how it works. You lift the entire... <laughs> let's pretend that did not happen. <sighs> Boom, after you lift it up, that's the type of scenario that you can get, yeah. Lots of sewer water and it looks, looks really good. Like, check that out. Oh yeah! And the coolest part, if you don't like sewer water, you can replace this with lava. That way you can actually play the swing game. You know, people have to, or comrades or whatever, they have to swing over. Or actually, <laughs> the shredder himself. Or maybe it's the super cool mutagen that actually contaminated the entire sewer. There's so many things you can play with. Swing around this, and you made it over to the other side. Good job, shredder! But it was a waste, because Leonardo kicked you off like a Sparta. Anyways, moving on, check this out. You get three super cool particular lights that are also articulate. You get these three super nice green translucent pieces, which pull off the aesthetic well. Unfortunately, you see this piece? It's not a glass piece, so if you look underneath, it might look a little bit awkward, but if you point it down like you're supposed to, and you're not supposed to be checking under weird places, then it looks very good. As you can see, it's just a solid color of yellow. If it were transparent, well, then it wouldn't make this look so good, you know. Transparent on something transparent, it would be a little bit hard to see. So, I'm kinda glad they actually went with this color choice. Anyway, here's how this whole light piece actually swings. You can lift it up, you can lift it down. You can also rotate this part right here. And same with this light right over here. You can do the same thing with it. Lift it down, lift it up, rotate it all the way you want. But this light is actually special. You know why? It has a foot soldier on it, that's why. No, but seriously. It's because you can rotate it like this. And another way you can rotate it is there's a super cool thing that you can actually spin. So you grab this and you can rotate it like that. See that? Go, go foot soldier, go. And he fell in the sewer water. Now, comrades, after all of that silliness, let's get pumping! I'm also going to remove this light because it's getting way too annoying, which is also another super cool feature of the light. All right, Raphael, show us what you can do. And yes, this is the Raphael version that actually comes with this set and not my custom. So, here's the super cool thing Raphael can actually do. See this? This right here is an actual punching bag. See that nice? They used a nice rubber piece so I can actually swing. So Raphael can go. Yeah. And behind this corner, there are also plates. See these? These are a few little plates. And no, these are not plates that you actually eat with. These are the plates that you can increase the weights of these things. And yes, this is such an awesome feature. They hang very nicely. Raphael can start pumping, pumping. As you see, he is pumping it up. And also falling off. And as advertised, Raphael is definitely pumping up. <laughs> Except now he's drinking sewer water. 
It tastes great, doesn't it? Doesn't it taste like Gatorade? <laughs> Ah, Raphael, you silly Raphael. Anyways, comrades, that's one last good look of it. And let's move on to Michelangelo section. Yeah, Michelangelo gets two. DJ in the skateboard part. Yeah, this is really awesome. So yeah, the skateboard is hanging right up there. We take the skateboard. And you're probably wondering, how is this super cool New York style actually positioned? With a tire mark right there. Well, it's the same way how this piece is done come to that similar like plastic papery material and it's actually pretty good it's pretty stable so yeah that's good now let's go ahead and take this piece the skateboard boom and here you can actually properly attach a ninja turtle to the skateboard in this case michelangelo so yeah you can make him swing right here <laughs> Michelangelo. Unfortunately, Michelangelo doesn't slide so very well when there's an actual Ninja Turtle on the skateboard. So, yeah, that's a bummer. Also, if you've noticed, this flag actually moved out of the way. So, yeah, you can move this flag out of the way. And this little piece, it's actually a plastic piece. Let me show you up closer. Boom, right here, you can see. Plastic piece. You can rotate it up, there's no print on the other side. It's basically the exact same piece used in the Call of Duty dome set, the red flag. <laughs> it's not a red flag this time, it's a blue flag. It also says TMNT on it, because you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, anyway, this section right here composes of a lot of sewer leaves and sewer uh, exit departments, where the sewer waste gets dumped in. But it's also a super cool entrance. Wow. Yeah, nice relaxing. And check this out. This part spins, but if uh, you want to, hmm, let's see. Let's take uh, the foot soldier. You want the foot soldier to bounce out of it. Well, boom, push it open and boom. <laughs> see that? That's a super cool playability feature you have. It. And let's say, ugh, I don't want it there. I want this right here. Well, no problem. Super cool part about Mega Blocks, you can actually customize that. Boom. You place it in there nicely and ah, oh, it fell out. But you get the point. It goes in there pretty nicely and boom, there you go. You want to push it out? Don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> ah, oh, 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 technical difficulties, comrades. Anyways, of course, you can just push it right out. Damn, it's really stuck tight. <laughs> Anyways, towards the top you have these railings which give a nice aesthetic. Then on this side you also have railings which give it a nice aesthetic. And then you have this piece, which is supposed to be Leonardo's part. Or if you want to consider it, it is also Shredder. I mean <laughs> Shredder Splinter's part. So yeah, you place Leonardo right here, there you go. By the way, this is not the Leonardo you get in the set. Where did you go other version of Leonardo? There you are, that's the correct version of Leonardo. Anyway, yeah, check this out what they actually managed to do. They gave you a nice carpet. They use these little pom-poms as actual little plants and bushes, like nice shrubs or herbs, either way you like it. Then you get this very nice print right here, and you also get these pieces right here, which is a very clever design for lamps. Yeah, two little lights right there, and this thing can actually rotate. Just like how you can swap out this thing, see that? You can also swap it out over there. So yeah, that's pretty tough. And another super cool feature you get. Check this out. Flip this on the back and you get two golden katanas. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. It's very rare that you get gold pieces in Mega Constructs. This one actually comes with two golden katanas. Like, what is there not to love about golden katanas? Oh, and on top of that, they're also translucent gold. Yeah, super special. Yeah, and if you're wondering what the other side looks like, here's what the other side looks like. And these two little attachments are designed to actually place Leonardo's older swords, if you want to do that. Oh yeah, and here's also how the playability shows off with the instructions. So you can swap out this piece, swap out that piece, swap out this piece, place it anywhere which you like. Right here, you see that? Now let's actually see what that would actually look like. So all you have to do is just take off this ball piece, 
uh, attach it to this boom and you just take off this very easy to take off place it on over here which doesn't provide much benefit but you can place it right there and now you have more strategic places to shoot and you can also swap out Leonardo's place right here Boink. and swap it out for this boom just like that providing you with even more playability I like it mega block I like it also it's kind of weird I can place Leonardo's place right underneath the sewer controller piece, huh? Doesn't show disrespect to Leonardo. Eh, it doesn't matter. He's a ninja turtle. He's used to the sewer life. <laughs> Anyways, there is one super cool secret part that I have not shown you guys yet. Here's what the bottom consists of. A lot of pieces and they're very stable. Moving on, here's what the back side of the set looks like. Nothing too very impressive because wasn't designed to be viewed from the back. You get this little section underneath. You get some little pieces where you can hide Ninja Turtles because they're actually scared of the Shredder. Oh no. But another super cool thing I really wish they actually implemented. You see this part right here? It's the perfect place to place a care package. Check that out. Yeah. Or something else. I really wish they are expanded on the back part of this set provided you with more playability towards this part. Even though, yes, I know. <laughs> Where was I? Yes. Even though, yes, I know, it was not designed to be viewed and played from the back. I kind of wish they gave it more, considering, you know, this set costs 70 bucks, but, you know, kind of wish they gave a little bit more playability features in the back. Now, you see this little tiny hole right here? It's the perfect hole for a rat. But, What's the only good rat in the entire Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle franchise? Our beloved Splinter! But too bad, Splinter is not able to fit in this set. Oh, and if you're wondering why I have this version of Splinter, well, the Michael Bay Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, never made a Splinter figure. Neither did they also make an April O'Neil figure, which would have been super cool. <laughs> Why didn't they make those figures? Instead, they gave us a shredder. Wouldn't it have been better instead of a shredder? Since we already got a shredder from another set, they gave us a master splinter. But yeah, I took this one from one of those uh Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles. Yeah. So, yeah. And no, Splinter is not going to be able to fit in there. As much as you would like him to fit in there, he didn't here. No. <laughs> it is cold, tight real estate. Get used to it, boys and girls. Welcome Reds! Enough playing hide and seek like little Reds! Let's move on to the figure! Alright comrades, you have entered the figure department of this big. Let us begin with Raphael. This version of Raphael who comes in this set comes with a white veil. Cause you know, he is not a pro no more. Splinter is the real pro. <laughs> Anyways, he comes with his size right here comes with red molded finger ninja turtle and yeah halo you see these ninja turtles three fingers how about you make the covenant elite have four fingers hmm? what's that halo oh no we want to keep using the five figure yeah, yeah, yeah. even ninja turtles do a much better job than you anyways he also comes with these green shoes right here and yeah you're probably wondering friendly porcupine aren't you going to complain about the annoying boot trick well, actually here, it actually makes sense. And it's not that really annoying, you see? It has a nice shape coming up to it. So yeah, this actually works. Also, another thing you might have not noticed about Raphael's pants. They're actually speckled black, not just black. Yeah, these size right here, they're just pretty average. I wish they kind of gave him a bit more of a unique one, since, you know, this is a big set. You only got Raphael and Leonardo, not even Michelangelo and Donatello, so... Yeah, would've been cooler. Anyways, we spin it around to the back, and here's how the turtle shell is done. Yeah, he comes with this nice wrapping thing, which you can actually insert the size into. Boom, so if you don't want Raphael to use the size, there you go. Anyway, what does this section come with? Well, this section is the more armored part of Raphael. He comes with a nice shoulder pad, he comes with a forearm pad. Yeah, to become more muscular, you know. Armored up ready for war and he also lost a finger because that's what finger a leg you stupid 
<laughs> ah, man, yeah, fork, yeah, fine. How could you? Anyways, yeah, and here's how the arm is attached. It's attached that way. Unfortunately, though, it makes it a bit difficult to uh, rotate the hand, because otherwise, when you start rotating it, this little forearm attachment falls off. Boo hoo hoo hoo. Anyways, Raphael, that's enough of you. Get out of here. Let's move on to the next Ninja Turtle. It's Leonardo with the two katanas. Unfortunately, for his back, you can only insert one katana. Yeah. Only one, unfortunately. If you want the second one, you're gonna... You have to play some weird tricks and kind of slide it in there somehow. Yeah. There's no, like, special attachment for him to slide it into. So, yeah, that's a bummer. But it does hold, so... Yeah, I guess it's that. So, for his forearm, on his right forearm, he has a nice black rabbit. On his, gray, on his left forearm, is a gray rabbit. He comes with the blue part, but... See, the only thing that's blue here is his bandana, you know, the Leonardo. You would have expected at least a bit more blue color. Anyways, for his legs, you get the gray ninja boots, and you get the black speckle, just like with Raphael. You also get this type of belt, kind of starting to remind me of Mortal Kombat. And you also get this type of ninja turtle shell, which I showed up there. Anyways, enough of you, Leonardo. Let's move on to the next figure. The Foot Soldier, which comes with a black katana. Yeah. This is an awesome katana, because if you just really wanted a fully black katana, here you go. But it also creates the perfect opportunity for you to paint this silver. That way you can leave the gripper part black. Unfortunately, you only get one katana, black katana in this set. You get five katanas, two gold, two silver, and one black. I really wish you got a second black one, but it's okay, I guess. I mean, it is what it is. Here's the foot soldier. Look at this. He comes with a nice print over there and a nice print over here which actually got uh, a little skewed at a place and it's not so very nice. The paint kind of skewed a little bit over. And here's how the helmet looks like. He comes with this scarf right here, which is actually perfectly aligned to fit right in there. So yeah, see that? Perfectly aligned to fit in there. And of course you can rip his head mold off. Boom, and give him no scar. It's also a very good head mold to actually use for Call of Duty figures. Yeah, there you go. Anyways, enough of you, Foot Soldier, let's move on to the Shredder. In this set's version of the Shredder, he comes with much more uh, darker colored armor pieces. So yeah, as opposed to the other one you got in the other set with lighter color. And another very big thing you're probably wondering. Where are his signature claws? Well, they did come in this set, but they were a little bit hard to put on and they felt like they could have snapped. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here are what the claws look like. I was very worried because I didn't want to smash these super cool pieces and break them because it was a little tight. But since we're doing a video, I guess, you know, what the heck? Let's do it. <laughs> Boom! I got it in there. Oh man, that is a tight fit. Like, oh man, you even pulled that out. Oh man. Yeah, I got it in there, but it ripped off the hand. That's not good. Speaking of which, where did the hand go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's why I don't really like these hands. They fall off too easily. But anyway, here it is. Let's try it one more time. Damn, that is so difficult to place in there. Yeah, these things not a very pleasant experience to Anyways, moving on with the Shredder figure. He comes with these dark boots. Here's what his helmet looks like. Yes, they're whole dyes. Yes, that's just a little tiny skin application. Yeah, nothing too interesting. This Shredder to me looks pretty lame. And you can take off his head mold. Fatality. And you can take off his vest. To reveal a plain ass shirt. Yeah, very plain. To make the Shredder a master splinter. Dun, dun, dun. And the Master Splinter, a Shredder. Ugh, it looks so lame. <laughs> okay, comrades. It is that time of the video. Final judgment. For the aesthetics, I give this set a 9 out of 10. There's a lot of very excellent prints. 
such as this print right here, such as the carpet right there, such as that right there, such as this whole water piece. If we take this thing off so you can see it a bit better. The water piece, the New York piece right over there, Donatello section of that. But there are a lot of prints. However, it is a little bit of a bummer that Raphael Saiz and Leonardo's katanas, you know, I wish they were painted. Maybe like black katanas with the silver painting or something like that. And the size could have been painted maybe gold or something, you know, or red or something. Something much more cooler. And another little tiny nitpick is this little DJ center right here. It could have had a little bit of the vinyl discs painted or a nice print over there. But overall, it still works pretty well. Moving on to the playability. I give this set a 10 out of 10. The playability is just too much. There's so much to do here. Change this around, swap that around, swap that around. Not that, <laughs> my rocket actually came out, uh oh. You also get 4 figures to play with, so yeah, increasing the playability. Good guys and bad guys. DJ station. And the thing is, there's a place for when you have all 4 Ninja Turtles, there's sections for each of them. Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael with the gym, Michelangelo with the skate park and DJ. There's also so many things to move around. How about this cool thing that you can swing around? The light post right here, like, like I said. A lot of things. And for the price, $70, eh, I kinda wish they included it in the back some more things, but don't forget, Mega Block would have probably increased the price of the set that they included more pieces to spend. So, yeah, keep that in mind. For the value, I give this set an 8 out of 10. You'll get lots and lots and lots of very, very unique and awesome pieces. Dumbbells, DJ station, size golden katanas, you know, skateboard, even though I wish it was like a different color or something, but you know, because we've already got lots of the orange skateboards again. You also get these super awesome pieces with the pom-poms and then again like the golden katanas over there. And then you get this super cool shooter piece like boom, 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 boom. Yeah, this thing, so much fun. And it also would have came with lights and sounds. Don't know what those sounds would have been like. Maybe they would have been like this. Pew, pew. You know, something cool, but... Yeah, it is unfortunate. I would have loved to actually hear what the sound sounded like. And it's a, lot of, it's a lot of playability, but this thing is so valuable. I wish I could have bought another set like this. So that way I can actually versus people, build up a cool structure and... <sighs> ah, yeah, unfortunately I only got one of those, so yeah. But that makes the set so valuable. Unfortunately, on the downside of the set, the figures are pretty generic. They're not, nothing too special, we've already gotten the shredder, just the different like colors of the shredder. The foot soldier, it's a pretty generic foot soldier, nothing too entertaining. Leonardo and Raphael, eh, they're, they're decent, I, I thought that they could have had a bit more uniqueness to them. I mean, this one comes with the red glass, but it's not that super unique. What they could have done with the figure department for the set was possibly replace the shredder and the foot soldier with the other two Ninja Turtles. Donatello and Michelangelo. Donatello and Michelangelo. Uh oh. Hey! Oh, cool, no way! You're actually reviewing this set? Michelangelo san! Michelangelo san! Don't bother unfriendly porcupine! He is doing a very important video for YouTube! Do not bother him! Besides, get back and finish your pull up! Your brothers are waiting! Ah, oh, man! I really wanted to review this set! Michelangelo! No! Ah, man, alright, Master Splinter. <sighs> Take care, friendly porcupine. Take care, comrade. Now, where was I? Ah, yeah, what they could have included instead of including a generic foot soldier, how about Master Splinter? They could have made a Master Splinter, which would have made this set super unique if they didn't want to give you all of the four Ninja Turtles in the set. And they could have also replaced Shredder with an April O'Neil. Oh, my goodness. I wish they did it, but unfortunately, Mega Bloks didn't do it, well, that's a bummer. And last but not least, for the build, I give this set a 9 out of 10. There are very, very excellent design choices and how things were built, how things were placed. Like, such as these super cool flat pieces to create that. How about this super cool nice New York poster? How about this thing, like the designs and other stuff, and the thing that was already tied for you, pre-tied for you, such a good thing. And then you have all of these pieces that you can interchange and place around. And how about all of these super cool small bills that you get over here? Like that, like that, boom, boom, the DJ station needed. Like, there's so many awesome little tiny bills in this set. What I really like it is, 
it's not too big, it's not too small, and it feels very, very, very cozy. That's what a good build does. And on top of that, the build, the actual experience of the build. You think, oh, this looks like a simple build, it's just a terrain. No, there's actually some good complexity in this set, so yeah. If you're looking for a build challenge, this is a good one. And on top of that, all of those super complexity designs that they put into the set gave me so many good ideas for my custom builds. Yeah, this set is going to teach you how to build other custom builds that you want to. So yeah, very, very good set. The only downside about the build, it's pretty stable, but this part uh, came off a little bit too easy. So, during the review. And that's why I don't give it a 10 out of 10. But other than that, it's very stable. And comrades, that brings us to the final score, which I give a 9 out of 10. It's an A. And a well deserved A. This is a very good set, Mega Bloks. I loved it. I had fun reviewing it, you know. Well, my comrades, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This type of video, this style of video, took much more time and much more effort to make. So, if you appreciated this type of video that was a bit more longer, be sure to smash that like button. Tell the YouTube algorithm that you want to see more videos like this. And also, share it with your friends so that way they also could be entertained. If you want me to make more of these longer style of videos, be sure to post in the comment section down below and be sure to give this video some love. The more love I see in this video, the more likely I will want to do more of these longer style of reviews. Because they take a lot of work, they take a lot of effort, and they take a lot of time, and they also take some researching, you know, researching the pieces, the parts, and everything that involves into a review. Not to mention the whole building process, which also takes some time. And writing down all of the notes that I need so I can do the final judgment. Well, my comrades, hasta luego, mis amigos, and goodbye, my comrades. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for sticking around. And what's that? Uh -oh. Yep, I hear Michelangelo. Quickly, I got to put this all away because he's going to mess up my entire set. Oh boy. Come on, come on, let's go. Put it away, put it away. Uh oh, it fell. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Chica, 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 baka. All right, let's put this away. Okay. All right, friendly porcupine. I'm back. Ah, oh, did I miss the review? Ah, oh, man. Well, anyways, uh, I guess you can go ahead and uh, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and do all those cool things. Since I missed the review, what am I going to do now? Well, I might as well go ahead and do some cool tricks Splint Master Splinter taught me. Check this out. Yeah, that felt good. That's a good stretch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Raphael couldn't even do any of this. I'm the flexible Ninja Turtle. All right. I'm also going to teach you another cool trick Master Splinter taught me. Check this out. Oh, ow. What the hell was that? Damn, I'm getting old. Oh. Well, let's let's see if this old turtle still has a few tricks. Hey, hey, all right. Ah! Anyways, whoever said you can't teach an old turtle new tricks, especially if they're mutated in a ninja turtle? Well, you're just not radical, dude. Cause. I can do new tricks and new stuff. Check this out. This is what Master Splinter taught me. Hey, uh, yeah, take that, haters. You can't do that cool radical stuff. See, this is a split right here. Ow! And I can't balance for crap. Damn it. Ow! Uh, uh, Mr. Splinter, uh, I can't get out. I found it. I can't get out. Uh, damn it. Crap. Master Splinter, I need help! Raphael! Michael! Wait, that's me! Crap! Raphael! Leonardo! Donatello! I think I might have popped something! I'm friendly walking by! I need help! Help! I think I might have ripped something!